Let's go, guys. Uh, sea of Tigers, exactly. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like, so the Mixer thing, I don't really know. I saw that there was actually a Newsweek article that was written about this, and uh, I wanted to show you guys this on my, uh, on my stream because I thought it was funny. All right, let's go. Uh, round all these people up. Tell them all to mount up and come with us, okay, guys? Uh, tell them all to mount up and come with us. And that way they know what's gonna happen, okay? Uh, yeah, Newsweek. Uh, no, my, they, they wrote another Newsweek article about me the other day. It was like, maybe, actually, it was a while ago. But, um, they wrote this, my dad was so proud of me. He's like, wow. And he went and he, he fucking emailed it to all of his fucking boomer friends. He's like, wow, look at my, my son's in Newsweek. Look at this. And, uh, yeah, here it is. Twitch versus Mixer. Amazon and Microsoft battle for dominance. But who will win the, who will win the game streaming war? Fortnite in numbers. Um, let's see here. Uh... Anti-Twitch campaign manifested itself across social media this week after news emerged that streaming site mistake mistakenly hosted porn on the account of that star Tyler Ninja Blevins, 28, who spent years amassing a following of 14 million people before jumping ship to the rival platform called Mixer as part of an undisclosed financial deal first announced on the 1st of August. For years, Twitch has been a little fear about streaming services, um, with many now asking where their loyalties lie and if the domineering platform will ever become vulnerable. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's the rest of this? Is there anything else really worth looking at? Where's the part about me? Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, audiences for competitive games tend to be more loyal to the game uh, than a specific broadcaster, so it's likely that many viewers reacted to Ninja's move by watching other Fortnite streamers rather than moving to Mixer. Yeah, it's definitely true. Uh, but what it, uh, what it has done is signal to Twitch that not only Twitch is not the only game in town with the technology resources and the wherewithal to host live broadcast content. It has demonstrated that there are alternative platforms at a time that Twitch has come under both fair and unfair criticisms of its policies and business practices. For some, that may be enough to make the switch. Oh, here's one, another one. This is about... Uh, Philip DeFranco and Guy Dr. Disrespect Beam both waded into the conversation. Given the current frustrations part of the Twitch community has now, it could be part of the beginning migration or at least dabbling the mixer. I think it's smart. Okay, here's... Here's the way I see... Alright, oh, let's see. Is there anything else worth looking at? Uh, I think you need to give at least one of the top ten on Twitch a power move, if you will, to really bring in the numbers to hype up Mixer. The streamer said this is uh, probably uh, Doctor Disrespect. I just have, I have a feeling that unless they pick up a few other big names, I got a feeling Ninja's numbers are going to go down. It has nothing to do with him. I just think it's the exposure on the platform uh, where it's at right now. Well, that's very very true. That's extremely true. So let's talk about why that's true. All right, just give me one second here. Um, Twitch has one thing that Mixer doesn't have. Mixer has an island, and that island is Ninja. Twitch has an ecosystem. There are very few people that uh, consistently consume and are organic, like innate users, endemic users to Twitch. And because of that, or sorry, to, uh, to Mixer, uh, but on Twitch, there are people that have consumed content on Twitch and use Twitch as basically a social networking site. Because of that, Twitch has a much healthier ecosystem of viewership. And their viewership is created organically rather than created externally through like hype from another platform or something like that, or another individual coming onto the platform. But Twitch as a platform itself has its own viewership. People watch Twitch, they don't necessarily watch Ninja. And because of that, I think that any other platform is going to have a very, very uphill battle to climb, uh, or uphill battle to fight uh, against Twitch. It's kind of like a social network. There is going to be nothing ever, I don't think, it'll be probably in like next like five or ten years, that will overtake Facebook. Because Facebook is just so pervasive. Uh, people use Twitter more, right? But they don't use Twitter and Facebook for the same things. So they're not necessarily competitors. Uh, many people that have Facebook also have Twitter. Uh, whereas for live streaming, usually people consume one website's content rather than another's. And uh, that's basically the way that I look at it, right? Nothing will ever replace MySpace. Well, I mean, the thing is that you get to a point where people are generally happy with the way that things are. And I think that video game graphics, video game graphics are a good example of this. Video game graphics have basically gone like this, I would say. Uh, let me make a new thing. Okay, don't save. It's just a, I'm just gonna draw a diminishing returns graph, okay? This isn't anything that's five head or anything like that, right? So video game graphics have been like this. 
So, they were like this, and now they're like this, right? And so here you have, like, you know, SNES, S, and, like, over here you'd have, like, N64, and then you'd have, like, GameCube, uh, GameCube, and, and like, here... Like, the difference between, here's what I'm trying to say, right? The difference between, uh, let's say, the Xbox, uh, the Wii U, for example, like the, the Wii. Let's just go with the Wii. Um, the Wii. Or PS3. Let's, uh, let's do PS3 versus PS4. Uh, PS3 versus PS4. The graphical difference between these two is much less than the graphical difference between Nintendo 64 and GameCube. You see what I'm saying? PS3. Listen, I, I have bad, I have bad dyslexia, and I, I, it's hard for me to like think and, and write things correctly. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Uh, wait, it's not. Wait, you really think that? You really think that the amount of graphical fidelity increases is equivalent to, let's say, Nintendo 64 to Super Nintendo? Or Nintendo 64 to GameCube. Like, you, you really think Moore's Law? Uh, yes and no, right? I mean, obviously Moore's Law has to do with computing power and processing power, but, um, y you know, this is basically the same thing. People think people just care less? Yeah, exactly, it's real. People question marks 12-year-olds? Well, yeah, they probably are question marks. Like, <laughs> they're probably question marking, they're like, what's an N64? What's an SNES? What, what, what are these things? I don't understand, like... Is this what my grandpa told me about? What's an SNES? You know, yeah, I bet that's what it is. Okay, guys, listen, I've made you fuckers wait around forever. Let's go ahead and get everybody together, all right? I don't want to fuck around with this too much. Everybody, let's go over to, um, uh, let's see, where's a good place to do some PvP? Tanaris. Tanaris is a good place. Uh, let's go over, take the boat over to Minithal Harbor. Let everybody come on right over here. Uh, if you want to come and be part of this, make a character over on, uh, on the beta PvP server, and we're gonna go right over there right now, okay? Uh, do you watch anime? No, I don't watch anime. Well, actually, some I, I watched the Castlevania show, which wasn't really anime. It was more like just animated. It's not like, well, I don't know. I mean, really different, you know, it's like splitting hairs. But, you know, the point is I watched that. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a great show. And uh, I can't click on the, the guy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. I liked it a lot. And, uh, you know, it made me think, like, I also watched a few other anime movies. I watched uh, Your Name. And uh, I watched the, uh, there's another one. It was like this, it was this, well, I, I, your name was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen in my whole life, right? I I, I really loved it. I thought it was an incredible movie. Uh, I watched this other one. It was I always forget the name of it. It's this black thing that would go around these people's house and it would eat everybody. And then finally, there was this girl that was like, "I'm tired of your shit. Stop." And it's like, "Okay, fine." And it stopped doing it. What was it called? Spirited Away. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I like how I can explain a movie in like the stupidest way possible. And then somehow, uh, you know, people still know what it is. Uh, Spirited Away, yeah, exactly. Well, I do like, uh, I like the idea of, like, anime to show, you know, situations and worlds that are just too fantastical or, you know, like, uh, just, like, too weird to be shown in, like, a normal, uh, normal movie. And I think that's really cool. Uh, I'm not, like, a huge anime fan, but I do enjoy it, right? Uh, I enjoy, like, uh, any good movie, and I, I try to give everything a, uh, a fair chance. I always used to be a big fan of Full Metal Alchemist, Ghost in the Shell, whenever they used to play that kind of shit on the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Adult Swim, right? After uh, a fucking Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I love Aqua Teen Hunger Force, right? Uh, did you watch Hentai too? Um, how many more people do we need here? Uh, everybody's assist. So if you need an invite, please uh, message somebody in this group here. Just look at the names and uh, message somebody in the group. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started. Uh, let's go. Uh, just give me one second. A speech? All right. Uh, you all want a speech? Okay, we'll do a little quick speech. Listen, guys. This is going to be the last opportunity that we're going to have for a long time, by almost two weeks, to actually do some content and do some legitimate real-world PvP in Classic WoW. Now, you can look forward to many more events like this whenever the game comes out, and I look forward to doing them. But today, let's go over to the other faction, and let's just fucking beat their ass. That's all there is to it. We'll make a wall around Gadget Sand, and we'll make the Horde pay for it. Okay? It's going to be just that fucking easy. Everybody, come on right over here. Wait for the boat. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we're gonna make a. Yeah, we're gonna build a wall, and we're gonna make the horde pay for it. Let's go. Went to the wrong flight path. We can probably summon you if the uh, warlocks have summoning learned. 
I'm not sure. Aqua Team, Hunger Force, Seasons 1 to 4. I love that show. It was really stupid, and uh, my mom thought that I had brain damage because I watched it. But, uh, you know, I still watched it anyway. Same with Robot Chicken. I loved Robot Chicken. It was hilarious. Uh, what's the name of the song? It's called Strength of a Thousand Men by uh, Two Steps from Hell. And uh, let me go ahead and read the rest of these. Just watch a video of you doing the Neckbeard quiz yesterday and figured, how about we let McCuck do the quiz so we can laugh at all of his mistakes? You can't because you can never tell because he's not like doing it like on stream. Like you can see what he's looking at. So we could just look things up and you wouldn't even know. Uh, have somebody telling him the answers. Uh, Hamster Dan, thank you very much for the $10. I appreciate that, man. Trust me, I thought of that, okay? I did consider it. Uh, we're just thinking much of the three and a bit. I appreciate that very much, man. Uh, let's hurry up and see some Stone Cold Gold. Listen, man, like, I'm a little bit nervous about doing that. Maybe I can make that emote, okay? I think that could maybe work. I sent a super realistic Photoshop of bald you. Check Twitter DMs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, just a second. Let's just get this out of the way. What is this? Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I I don't know about any of these. Okay. Yeah, this is just a bunch of bullshit. Okay. All right, just give me a second. What?